Oh, shalom, Shabbat shalom, Sembet salam. This is uh, Shabbat uh, March uh, March fifteenth, uh, twenty thirteen, twenty thirteen for us as as so called uh, Negroes or as Hebrews, as Beta Israel, as Ethiopian Hebrews. Um, twenty thirteen is a jubilee year. It's a jubilee. It's a jubilee year for us. It's two hundred years since since. Uh, 1863, right, and it's, and it's very significant in that on that level, um, and um, we're in a period of a black genocide of a Holocaust, but but yet it is not it's not over. It is covert. Those who've been studying it know it. The point of this is a sign of Jonah, because Yeshua Hamoshia he said that he said that the only sign that will be given, right, to that. To that evil and wicked generation, and 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 we're in a time of a, a evil and a wicked generation. The only sign that will be given would be the sign of Jonah. So now, for us who study, seek to study, and show ourselves approved to God as as workmen, right, in the work of the King of Kings and His true Christ, the Moshia Yeshua, Jesus Christos, our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's important for us to study this. So America, my right, America, 2013, the sign of Jonah revealed. Right now, Jonah, remember, Jonah was swallowed up in the whale's belly. Right, Jonah was swallowed up in the whale's belly. Now, um, not to get into the details of the story of Jonah, but it would be important to understand this more fully. We are taking it that that either you will or you have at least some idea of what that we speak. So let's go to the scriptures right here, and we have uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 12, verse, uh, verse 38 to verse 42. It says, the sign of the prophet Jonas, or Jonah, and now remember that Jonah, right, is Hebrew, it means dove. Jonah itself means a dove, and the dove is a sign of the of the Holy Spirit, not a ghost. The ghost is a phantasm, is a phantom. No, Holy Spirit. You understand? Study and show yourself approved, right? It's a shame that these preachers and pastors still be putting people under the ghost spell, right? Trusting King James more than trusting the word that they find in King James to study, right? And show themselves. Approved. So don't tell us about no so-called damn Holy Ghost because you trust in King James when if you look up that word, it's a mistranslation, right? It's a mistranslation. See, that's, that's where, you know, that's where, that's where you allow the enemy, right, the enemy to overcome you. That's why it says study rightly dividing the word of truth. So the, the sign of the prophet Jonah. So Jonah, right, means dove. And in Latin, in the Vulgate, we have Columbia, Columbia, right? And then we have D.C., District of Columbia, too. And it's interesting because they have a movie coming out on the 22nd called Olympus Has Fallen. Now, Obama is to go to the state of Israel on the, 20, uh, the 20th, right? And that's, that's basically in line with um, when Christ right, a road into Jerusalem on a donkey. I think he, he is specifically, well, he's a Democrat, so that, there's the donkey there, right? And we know what that Fox, Jamie Fox, has said, where Jamie Fox basically has said that um, for him and those who, who, like him, are of the apostate faith, that Obama is a Christ-like figure. You know, he says their Lord, their Lord and Savior. Right now, we we pick this up on the internet right here, right, and we we, we kind of cross this out. Not saying it won't be white people, but you know, it's people, right? It's people, right? Let's 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 recognize that it's people. We as Rastafari and Nyabingi say death to black and white down presser. So it's an equal opportunity judgment, right? Whether you wicked black or you wicked white or you wicked another color, it's still death. Right? Just, just recognize that. You know what I mean? Recognize that, but you can repent. So here we have Obama, right, announcing on the Ides of March, 
that he's going to go to Jerusalem. He announced it before, but then they pulled back that so he might not go there if, if Benyam, Benyam, um, Netanyahu, Benyam, Benyam mean Netanyahu, um, if he doesn't have a coalition government. One day after they, they found their father, you understand, um, the Pope, after they found their father, then we get Binyam Netanyahu in the 14th saying, yeah, um, I got a coalition government, and then on the eyes of March, Caesar, beware of the eyes of March, right? And they put him as a Caesar, and, and we just ask ourselves, why as a Caesar? Why did they make Obama? So folks laugh at it. People say, oh, Obama as a Caesar. He knows Caesar. Ha, ha, ha. Right, bad Obama. You know what I mean? They don't get it. You understand? And black people don't get it. You remember the Israelites? The Israelites or or the the first century Christians, they said they they rejected notice that they rejected Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior, for another. Remember they said which one you want? Pontius Pilate said which one you want? You understand? Um and they said, uh, we want Barabbas. Give us Barabbas, right? And remember what that Fox, Jamie Fox said? He said, he said, their Lord and Savior, uh, Barack Hussein Obama, right? And then remember that Obama now is going to Israel on the 20th, right? And he'll stay there to like the 21st or come back like on the 22nd. And remember, they have a movie coming out, Olympus Has Fallen. Now, Olympus was a giant. Okay. Anyway, Caesar was a giant too. But where are we right now? We are here. Right, we are here. Right, here's where you're at. Right, here's let's put that hand right there. It's the handwriting on the wall. Right, in the whale's belly. Right, America. Right, is the fulfillment. Right, of the whale's belly, because even Jonah was in a state, in a sense of denial. Right, he was in a state of denial because because Jah had sent him. Right. To, to proclaim and preach the word to a particular people of Nineveh, right, which is actually northern Iraq, that same region over there, right, with Kurdistan and all of that, right? And, and he didn't want to go there because it wasn't his people, so he tried to sneak away, run away, and finally got thrown off of the ship, right, got thrown off of the boat, right, and uh, swallowed up in the whale's belly. So what does Yeshua HaMoshiach say, right, the real, the real Christ? Right, he foretells his death. Jonah, the, the the Jonah prophecy is part of that. Yeshua is foretelling his death and his resurrection. Right, so we have that number three two two. Now remember, skull and bones three two two. We have that significant number three two two. How does three two two connect with all of this? Well, let's see if we have enough time in this uh, short segment here, and then long segment coming up a little bit later. Right, coming up after this, let's let's get Yeshua on the cross, our Black Lord and Savior, the Ethiopian Christ. Yes, Tacitus, the Roman historian, tells you that the Jews of 70 A.D. were of the race of the seed of the Ethiopians. Now that backs up what what the prophecy basically says. Are you not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? Now, what is also very interesting. Right. What's also very interesting about this prophecy here is that Ethiopia, or the Queen of Sheba, is mentioned in this particular prophecy here that's connected with Jonah. Right? This prophecy here that's connected with Jonah. Okay, here we go. We can bring this, open this up, hopefully. Let's get this right here so you can get that 322. Right? The 322, remember the place of the skull. Where was Christ crucified? He was crucified at Golgotha, and Golgotha was known as the place of the skull, right? And let's bring this up over here. So let's go down here. All right, here we go. And what do you have right here? Let's bring this up a little bit more. You have the three, right, the three, two, two. Here we go, the three, two, two. Now, if you said, what does that three, two, two mean? What's that three, two, two all about? Mm-hmm. Well, if you look at Genesis, the first book, Right, the first book, right, Bereshit, right, chapter 3, in verse 2, 2, you find something interesting. I don't know what they claim it to mean, but here's what studying has shown us. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Right? 
So that conspiracy, right, against Adam, right, by extension against the black man, the satanic conspiracy of, of Satan, right, against Adam, right, was fulfilled and overcome by the blood of Yeshua, right, by the blood of Christ, right? So now, five days, right, <laughs> five days or so, right, before that, right, the Passover, the Pesach, we have Obama this year and there's other people's vids that actually